Hello BitsBoo, this is Craig from BitsBox.co.uk here, and yes, you did read the title of this video correctly, I am making some Simpsons themed Space Marines. So Simpsons was one of my favourite shows growing up, and I absolutely loved watching it, especially the first sort of ten series. Um, I still watch it occasionally, now and then, and yeah, I've got so many Simpsons quotes memorised in my brain that my brain kind of looks like this. Um, it's a show that's a big part of my life and a big part of my friends' lives, we're always quoting it. And yeah, I'm sure if you know anyone who likes The Simpsons, you probably know the type of person. So, I'm not actually the first person to make Simpsons-themed Space Marines, and the sort of main reason I'm doing this is to do updated versions of ones that previously existed. And Codex Springfield um, appeared on the internet roughly um, about 20 years ago now, I remember looking at these while I was still in school. Um, so you can actually find the original website by going on the Wayback Machine. This is a really cool website for um, finding old archived web, web pages. And you type in www.bitsbox.com. Yeah, that's not us. Um, we're bitsbox.co.uk. This is .com. Um, I think the website's something completely different now. But yeah, back in the day, before we even existed, um, it was the home of Codex Springfield. So you want to go all the way back to 2001 and you can click on February 1st and look at the snapshot there. Now the style sheets don't always load so you do sometimes get pages that look like this but you can highlight all the text and then you can see all the text there for Codex Springfield and there's a link to it there. And then there's a nice big list of all the um, miniatures that they had converted and ones that they planned to convert so you can see there's loads. There are some chaos as well as regular space marines. So Homer's minus Homer, Professor Frink is a tech marine, and yeah, you can click on some of these and see the images. So there's the original minus Homer. So these are all made with green stuff, I think. Um, and I'm gonna 3D print the heads, and I'll show you how I do that later on. And I've got Seraphim there for Merge. Um, her face looks a little bit Homerish. It looks like Homer with a wig. Don't know what's going on there. There's Smithers and the Assassin. Um, there he is. Very, very interesting. And there's quite a few. Uh, we'll look at some more. And um, a poo. I've been opening these in the new tab, if you haven't noticed. And yeah, my plan is to try and do as many of these as I can. I'm going to do a few for this video, and then I'll probably do some more going forward as well. There's Dr. Hibbert as an apothecary, and um, Professor Frank as a tech marine. So yeah, they, they sort of fit their personalities as well with what they've, some of the roles they've been given, which I quite like as well. You can see there's a lot here, and the ones underlined are the ones what do have um, photos attached to them. Uh, Grandpa is a venerable treadnought. Oh, there was a Land Raider pilot, Ned Flanders as Emperor's Champion. Milhouse's dad as a Space Marine Sergeant. So yeah, they've done with a Hellfish Dreadnought. Something I'd like to do in the future. Definitely, I think that could be really cool. Uh, that one doesn't seem to work. Back to Frank. Uh, let's have a look. So, someone packages a cow spawn or something I wish they would have done. And Jebediah Springfield as Reboot A Gilman is quite cool as well. Um, if I can find a Jebediah Springfield head, I'll certainly do him in one day. And um, Barney is Tigris. Um, pictures for that are about, and I'll show you other, another way to find the other pictures as well. So you can just type in, if you spell it correctly, Codex Springfield. And on the laboratorium, well, uh, they do have pictures there. So there's Milhouse's dad, Kirk Van Houten, of course, and Lenny. Grimes keep away. So... Some of these may have appeared on a later snapshot of the website, um, I'm not too sure. Not all the images were working, so... Um, you see there it says part one as well. Which suggests there's a part two. So, going up into the search bar, just type in Codex Springfield. And there's part two, so we've got Barney, Otto, as well, and one of you got the itchy and scratchy bots, I think, used there. I really like Otto. I've got one of the nerds in, in a Land Raider, and some weird orky things that we won't ever talk about ever again. Very strange. 
yeah, really like Io actually. That's really well sculpted. I like how Barney sort of mid belts. So yeah, the plan is to recreate some of these with Primera Space Marines, and rather than sculpt them heads, I am of course going to use um, 3D printing technologies, and I'll show you how I go about um, getting the 3D models and turning the heads into something that will fit Space Marines. So a quick Google search for Simpsons 3D models or Simpsons STL files, um, you'll find a few kicking about on the internet. Um, I've got Barney here. And yeah, I've loaded them up into 3D Builder, and as you, as you can see, I'm using the split function to um, basically delete most of his body, which will just leave me with the head, like so. Then we can split that, and then use the split tool again to get rid of any pieces that are floating in midair. Uh, easy as that. And then we've got a head. And uh, next thing I want to do is add a sphere. Now, I've done this process on all of the heads. So it'll be the same for each one. Um, Barney's got quite a fat head, but um, he does fit the miniature that I'm going to be using for OK. And then we can take the sphere and just shrink it down. And then we can just stick it up there like so. Shrink it again a little bit more. And we can just chuck it up into his head like that. And it's just a case of getting that centered. Um, sometimes the camera goes really weird on here. It's very, it's very um, hard to move it about accurately. But yeah, like just something like that. That gives you the um, move it around a bit. That gives you the little ball join for the neck. Now, of course, you could just print it out with outer and just use a little blob of green stuff or something like that. Make it a bit shorter there. Um, easy enough to do. So once I had the heads together that I wanted. It was then a case of putting them in the slicing software, getting them all supported. Now I've done um, lots of different sizes because rather than just trying to get them spot on first go, I thought if I do quite a few sizes then I can just pick and choose the ones that will fit the best. So there's about three different sizes here and you'll see that Madge's hair is separate for whatever reason. And yeah, and then it's a case of taking them to the printer. So um, yeah, I didn't do any b-roll footage or anything like that of them being printed. So we'll go straight to the desk, and here you can see I've got Marnius Homer, and I've also got Lenny and Carl as the Victrix Honor Guard. And yeah, the heads fit on pretty good, I think. And I think when they're painted up, they're going to look really cool. So just moving them to one side, I also have Dr. Hibbert. Here he is as an apothecary. This is an apothecary that I was going to use for one of my other Space Marine armies, which is why the base has already got the flock on it. I think he looks really cool. And here I've got Manius Homer again, just showing that I've added some little beer cans to him. Um, the original one had some little Duff beer cans, so I made these and um, 3D printed them. And we now sell these on our website, so if you want some little beer cans for your Marines for whatever reason, um, you can pick them up from our store. I also made this objective marker. It's one fine looking barbecue pit. Which is really cool. I just saw this online, I thought I had to print it, and then I found like a little umbrella. So it's not strictly accurate for the umbrella, so it's more a parasol type, but that's all I could find. But it looks really cool. It's gonna be quite fun to paint. And then yeah, lastly we have Marge. So I went with Saint Celestine for Marge, thought she deserved something a little bit more flamboyant. And yeah, I've got the two Gemini, and I was originally going to do like Lisa and Maggie, but they'd be like the same size, and they look like boob armor, which, you know, would be a bit weird, especially on Maggie. So, I don't know. Um, Patty and Selma could be an idea, but I can't find any heads for them. So I wasn't really too sure um, what else to show on the video, so I just filmed most of the painting process for painting Marnius Homer, which I've just sped up quite significantly. Here, so the next couple of minutes of video, I'll be showing just how he's painted. Now, if you want uh, um, some details on how he is painted, then I'm essentially just following along to Duncan Rhodes' um, retro Space Marine, the Ultramarine scheme. Um, I thought this would be quite suitable for these. Obviously, the retro schemes are just really bright and bold, 
um, lots of bright colours, not so much sort of a grim dark um, style you get now. Um, certainly these just wouldn't look right in that sort of really dark um, battle worn sort of scheme. So yeah, just really bright, straight out of the factory colours, you know. And yeah, I quite like the old retro schemes um, as an excuse for me to use the bright green on the base as well. Something I like to do now and then, but it's not really something I do in most of my armies, but I don't know, I sort of got into the hobby around the time when this this style was all, um, I'll say in, it was just for how GW were painting their marines and their miniatures, so there's a nostalgia there for me, which, you know, along with the Simpsons as well, it's all nostalgia, and for those of you who don't share that nostalgia, you probably won't like these marines as much as I do, or the colour scheme. Um, but yeah, that's the thing with these, um, you're going to love them or hate them, I think, and there'll be a lot of people, I'm sure, that won't, that won't like them. Um, but for those of you who do, um, if you have any ideas on what other Spring Springfield characters I could do and what they could represent in the Space Moon Army, um, please do let me know in the comments down below, especially um, sort of Bart, Lisa and Maggie as well, on what we could do with them. Um, but anyway, here are some final photos. So there is Manus Homer with all the details, highlights and whatnot added. You can see I've tried... To do some freehand on the Duff beer cans, um, very tiny, um, but you can kind of make out there's some writing on there. Um, you know, it looks looks fine. Um, they've all been given a satin varnish as well, that's why they might be a little bit shiny, but... No, I really like how he's turned out. We've got Marge here. So yeah, I went with the green on the robes um, to match like Marge's green dress. Um, it's the only miniature where I really have sort of taken that into account. But it worked really well actually, and um, just for green on the Celestine miniature actually, I think, worked quite well with the gold. So I've gone for quite a rich gold as well to complement that. We've got Lenny and Carl. Um, not much to say on them, I maybe could have done like colours of their robes to match what they wear in the show, but I think they look quite nice in in this. And um, you can see like the eyes, are, they're very tricky to paint, I've tried to not make any of them look um, cross-eyed. So and I think I've done an okay job. And yeah, Dr. Hibbert. So yeah, I've, I have a finer sand on his base and I think that is actually better. I wish I'd have done like a finer sand on all the bases, but um, never mind. And yeah, so we've got Barney, who I haven't painted yet, but I will certainly do it at some point. I think Barney's head just fits in there just perfectly. Yeah, it looks brilliant. And then we've got Professor Frink as well, who's another one. I will get round to paint them. Um, yeah, looking forward to doing Tech Marine for Ink. Um, the new Tech Marine is just a beautiful miniature as well. And then there's our, our little objective marker, um, that one fine looking barbecue pit. Um, it's a shame I couldn't get the proper sort of umbrella for that, but never mind. And yeah, there's Homer with Lenny and Carl. Um, so thank you so much for those of you who stuck around to the end, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's going to be very um, hit or miss with a lot of people, and um, it will be you either love it or hate it. It's just a silly little thing. Um, it's just something I remember seeing from my childhood. Obviously I like Simpsons, I like Warhammer, and I saw that website with them on. It was called Bitsbox, so there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of background there for me personally. And this is a project I've wanted to do for s such a long time. And yeah, it's a bit of fun. So yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, if you do like them, or even if you hate them but like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you would like to see and if you want to see anyone else added to this army and what you think they could represent, then I would love to hear it. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.